would have to start tracking them. I mean, I mean Beth, Beth has community. already started looking in. To, uh, she's she's made contact with FEMA. Uh, we're, uh, I do know that they actually came from the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, so we're still trying to track down the title, but that we can still run the advertisement and do all this while we're still trying to find the title. And you can actually transfer them without the title. It just it's, it's like a title pending kind of thing. Yeah, because Pat said something about that they had to do something like make application for title, <laughs> right, or something like that. I'm, yeah, maybe uh, a title's never been issued on it. It's, you know, I, I don't know. So. Okay. All in favor of doing a minimum bid of thirty-five hundred and advertising? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. 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 So I vote yes. So I think that is that the Yeah. On the module. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, the minimum bid. Uh, yeah. 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 I really don't mind explaining my reasoning. If we've had examples of passive Biloxi, both 5,000 and 7,000, I see no reason to go under their lowest bid. I mean, I, I would go at a minimum of 5,000. No, that's just what they were asking. I well, know, but they also they did sell. They did sell. They did get what they were asking for them on some of them. The thing about it is, if we bid it out at at uh, 5,000 and they don't all sell, we bid them the next round and the minimum bid's low. I mean, that's so what's your recommendation, James? I told I told uh, Miss Hamilton it really it, it doesn't matter. We just gonna we don't want to be sitting here with 23 trailers by the you know next year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We need to clean that campus back up and put it back in you know working order for uh, you know for for that school and and uh, and it doesn't make any sense also to. For us to pay to have them move somewhere else while they, you know, while they sit either. So two to four thousand dollars. So I, I, I mean, it, five thousand. It doesn't matter to me if y'all want to try to get five thousand, and if we don't get it, you know, we can do that. Yeah. The only, only other question I have, Jim, it may be perfectly fine, but if we're given equipment from FEMA, federal government equipment, and we sell it, can we supplement our budget? With what we make on that? Yeah. Once once, once they're given to you, they belong to you, and it's 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 yours, and it's it's like any other asset that belongs to the school district. At that point, you treat it as district property, and if it's surplus, you declare it surplus, and the money that comes back are just general fund money to them. Yeah, I, I understand that on normal situations, but I didn't know being this is tied to federal dollars. I didn't know if that was applicable. Uh, to, to my knowledge, there was no restriction uh, on the use or disposition of it. Do you, do you, do you no, have anything? To no, there, it's not. There are ours to do with. Uh, Whatever, and I have, and like I said, if y'all want to change the motion and let's try for five thousand first, we can do that. that we, we we really don't have a preference. We just want to try to move. They can go back and send. Can change it? The motion that we just voted on thirty-five hundred. We're talking about thirty-five hundred. Yes. All right. 3500. Okay. Claire, what was your vote on that? Yes or no? To advertise and minimum bid 3500, did you vote yes or no? That's same. Okay, next item. Request permission to build storage unit at Harper McCon. Do I hear a motion? We got a motion. Second. Second. Discussion? You said what? Did you? Oh, I'm sorry. I have seen information on that. I had discussed with Ms. Hamilton earlier some of the reasons if you want to share that. Right. Um, the, there, are no, there are no storage rooms in that building. There's two very small book rooms. Uh, FEMA would not pay for storage areas in that building. All the other schools have built storage units several years ago. We need that. If, right now we're having to use classrooms. If those are ever needed, we have no place to put items that we have in the school. Um, 
We had broken out the cost. The board had asked us to identify the cost. It would be ten thousand from my discretionary, ten to twelve thousand from the custodial line item on salaries. When we have had people go out for extended medical and we didn't get in subs. Uh, five thousand from rental equipment and maintenance that we have not had to work this year, and then six thousand from Mr. Holmes' activity. He was going to put up a, a metal building there. If we build what we have at the other schools, we can match the brick and come close to matching the roof color and those kind of things rather than just put a metal building out there. And the buildings like we have at the other school, I, I believe, will last for years and years. And so I think it's a much better use of the money. So estimated like 31000 We estimate thirty to 32000 yes. And the numbers that you gave us covers that? Yes. That's what that is, yeah. So this number on all right, so do I um talk to Cody L Bowie on the spend thirty eight thousand we like to work through this quick. Oh well, another thing you can do is clear your spot on those woods and put a trailer out there. <laughs> 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 you can't do nothing else with them. Woods east of the school, you can't clear. <laughs> But that's fine. I, I'm okay with the storage. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Number 10, proceed with QSCB project of 507000 Carolyn? Um, we mentioned this to the board at the last meeting. They had asked us to gather information. Um, we, all of the lights, and there are still lights in the school that were original lights at Quarles, Reeves, <coughs> um, middle school and high school. The ones at the high school are from 1958, the others are from 63 and Reeves is 67. The balance for those lights, the companies will quit making this year. The um, light bulbs, they tell us they will continue to make for two more years. After that, you can't get them. The lighting is um, very outdated. We have the 570000 the QSCB, which is the R, um, no interest loan that we qualified for last year. And so we would like to put out a bid and see how many of the projects, have each school bid separately, or go in and put the drop ceiling and improve the lighting before we are not able to replace light bulbs. Um, and, and see how many of these we can get done. And Jamie, we were going to try to expedite the the bid, correct? We had talked to Doug on that to simplify it as much as possible to save some money. We had we had a uh, we had a discussion with the uh, with the architect when he came over here. I was telling him that uh, that if we did it in house, when I say in house, we basically acted as our own contractor. We we actually put a bid out to buy. Uh, let's say that we need a thousand lights in the district, so we put that bid out. And we store our own materials and we just we put them on site for whoever is going to actually do the work. Bottom line is that if we were doing the project ourselves, we figured out that it was going to cost us about $3,500 a room. When you do that, we could have done, we could do the whole district that way. And that's drop the ceilings plus put, uh, put new lights in. Uh, the estimates that you got from the architect, we could only do basically one and a half schools with what they said. So we, we met with them and told them of what we're what we're looking at, and uh, because just for instance, like when you go in a room where the existing lights are, you're able to use the same electrical. I mean, it's just a matter of demoing that out and putting up the same thing. And we're trying to keep all the electrical and all all the engineers out of it, which starts doing this because then they they start making contingencies for if you walk in this room and there's. Uh, a bell at a certain height and all that. So we're, we're trying to stay away from that and he said he could write a, a, a set of generic specs that will cover like 98% of our classrooms as, as generic. And then, but he did say that you may run into a couple of areas in your, in some of the rooms to where you may have to do a little, you may have to do a small change order on that if he doesn't take the time to go and mark every room, you know, with the dimensions, what you're going to do in the